All right, hi everybody. In this video, we're going to learn how to add background music and sound effects to your P5 project. So in my example, I have a player sprite and two other objects and nothing is playing. It won't start until the user interacts with the browser. So if I just click on the browser, the background music will start. I move my player to the potion. The potion sound plays. And when I move to the treasure chest, power up sound place. So let's look at the code and see how this works. I've declared my sound variables as global variables. Background forest is going to be my background music and power up, power down will be the sound effects. And in the preload function, I've loaded the sound files into these variables or objects. The sound formats command, all my sound files are mp3 files so I just put the extension in the sound format and then I'm loading each sound into each object. My forest sound will be my forest.mp3 file in my music folder will be my background forest. Now you could just type the extensions in the end uh, you could do that but since all my files are mp3 files I just typed it out once instead of having to do it over and over and over again. So load your music files in the preload function. Now, if we go to the setup function, I created my sprites and then I'm running a function here called background music. And that's gonna load and play my background music. So in the background music function, background forest is where my background music is loaded and it will play that. And then it's going to loop it once it's done at the end. So I'm going to use the loop function here. And then I'm gonna set the volume of my background music. You can set your volume from zero being quiet to one being full volume. So background music file is actually quite loud, so I'm setting at 0.3. And then user start audio. That will enable the sound to start once you click or once the player interacts with the browser. If I take this out of here and then go live, now if I click on the browser, the sound isn't playing. In fact, I can start moving and the sound won't play. To get around that situation, to get the background music to play once the user interacts with the browser, I'm using the user start audio function. So let's look at the individual sound effects. What happens? So the individual sound effects only happens when sprites are colliding. So I'm right, I'm checking for collisions in my check collisions function. My check collision function gets called in the draw function. So the draw function is always checking for when these sprites are colliding. So what happens? I'm checking to see if the player sprite overlaps one of the two other sprites. So if the player sprite overlaps with the treasure sprite, it's gonna run the more treasure function. And then that sound's gonna play and that sprite disappears. And when the player sprite overlaps the potion sprite, then the more potion function will run and those actions will occur for the potion. So let's look at that. So here's my function more treasure. It's going to play the power up sound and it's going to set the loop to false. That means once that sound plays and ends, that's it. It's not going to loop. Now I'm going to remove the treasure sprite. So removing it is kind of tricky. It removes it from the display, but it's actually still there. Like you can interact with it and I will show you. So here's the treasure sprite. <laughs> Gone. Now I can still go to that same spot. The effect will still play. So I have to I have to move it. So that's why I have this. I'm changing the X position of the treasure sprite to minus 10. It's off the screen. It's way over to the left hand side of the canvas. And that way no other sprite can interact with it. Because even if you remove it, it likes to stick around. And the same thing with the more potion function. I'm playing that sound, I'm setting the loop to false so it doesn't loop again and again, and I'm removing that sprite, and I'm moving that sprite off the canvas somewhere where other sprites will not interact with it. And it's easy as that. Declare your variables for your sounds at the beginning of your program, load the sound using load sound in your preload function, and start your background music around your setup function. The reference says you shouldn't uh, loop the background music in the setup function. So that's why I don't have this background stuff in the setup function. I've moved it outside of the setup function. Then I just set up my sound effects for whenever certain sprites glide. And that's it.